Hello, Steve Knights, and welcome to Wednesday. Today is a pretty cool day because we are going to uh, go get Mallory's father and his girlfriend from the airport, and then we are going to go and get Carly from another airport, which is like in the other direction, far away. So that's already going to shape up to be an awesome day. We're going to hang out with Carly, and it's going to be fun. However, before we get any further into the day, I wanted to address something that I think I may have not said clearly. Um, back two days ago on the frugal day, I had said that uh, we were, you know, going to be living cheaply and frugal and, and doing a budget and all this stuff. And then I said part of that was eating cheaply, and I showed myself like eating McDouble. Okay. Now some of you <laughs> took that to mean that we were going to eat nothing but fast food or McDoubles or something. No, that that's not what I meant, and that's my fault for not explaining very clearly. Um, we've been buying food in bulk at uh, Sam's, um, you know, we have, like the Sam's and Costco. Uh, that's what we did, and that's pretty much what we ate. We're not going to eat out at all. We're going to just strictly eat at home and cook, and that's what we did while we were there at the apartment. The thing with the McDouble was just because we were out and we were starving, and we knew that that was a quick, easy way to get something, you know, really cheap, so that's why we did that. So you don't have to be worried for our health. Uh, college is not starting again. We're not going to be eating fast food all the time. I uh, dare say we will eat out ever, at least in these first two months, because we are trying to be, you know, really cheap and stuff. And the budget part, I don't think, is as important. It's not that we're really budgeting. I said budget, but that's not really what we're doing. We're really just writing stuff down. We're writing down um, how much stuff costs to live as cheaply as possible um, so we know and we know what we can on. And then it'll turn into a budget, I guess. Because there was one comment that was like, you should live normally, and then you have your budget. And I, yeah, that makes sense, but that's not actually what I was trying to do. So I hope that I cleared some stuff up there. We are not going to live on McDoubles, I swear to God. Because first off, we'd be like 500 pounds, and we would die. We would die before we ever got to 500 pounds. If you ate McDoubles, if you ate nothing but McDoubles, I mean, if Super Size Me has taught, it, taught me anything, like, you would, you would die in, like, two months. So, uh, no, that's not happening, and I apologize for any confusion. <laughs> Mallory is riding along with uh, her dad and Rhonda, and they are going over to the hotel, and I'm going now to meet them there, and then I'm going to grab Mallory and uh, take them or take her to go get Carly. Um, her dad ran into the car so they can get around. I've got to show this though, it's freaking me out. A bug splattered on my windshield, so I did a little water thing to clean it. And there's, there's, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's these drops of water, and they're, they just keep going in circles. And I'm not sure what the heck, I don't even know if you guys can see it or not, they're like right there. But they just keep going in circles, and it's freaking me out. There's probably a nice logical explanation for that. Um, that they're hitting something and then there's air coming up from under and pushing them. I don't know. I don't understand, but the drops of water are going in circles. And uh, if any of you uh, sciencey people know why that is, let me know because that's freaking me out. Carly's here. She's here. She's present. She's with us now. She got in from uh, Wilmington because we, uh, we had to pick up. Mark and Rhonda from uh, Myrtle Beach, and then we came up to Wilmington, so it was actually a pretty big drive, you know, from Myrtle Beach back to the house, and then the house to uh, Wilmington, but, you know, we made it, now we have Carly, and uh, we're going to go get some food, we'll get some food at the CC's Pizza, it's a, it's a pizza buffet place, it's rather cheap, it's very good, you can get them to uh, custom make you some pizza, but that's where we're gonna head over now. We're just uh, we're stuck in the Turning Lane. Turning Lane is a song done by Mike Jones. Mike Jones is an artist who was uh, renowned for his his release of Mike Jones' self-titled album. He was well known for putting his phone number uh, into the song and wanting you to call him. He has since changed his phone number. I found that out by going to his website. Uh, you can go to his site. I think it's MikeJones.com. I don't know if he's still releasing albums. But uh, we got a green light now, so we're going to head up over to uh, CeCe's Pizza and stop the waving. This is the party platter. <laughs> it's it, the Most of the party is gone now. I haven't had my part, my portion of the party. This is supposedly my portion, I guess, because I asked for three. Wait, 
How many did you already have? Because you had like... That was my fourth one. <laughs> Is that your first one? Okay. Yeah, I wanted three. <laughs> Look Mallory. at our forks! Oh wow, we're forming a... a shape. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> dark school. <laughs> Look at that shape there with the three points. That's a triangle. Another thing that was pointed out to me today is, uh, you know, from the other day I told you that Rocco won that contest. Well, I didn't know that they put it in the Sunday paper, but apparently they did. So here is the article. It says, me and my pet photo contest winners, and we have the first place. Meh. And then there we go, second place. Rocco helps me smile, submitted by Stephen George. And there's the picture. That's cool. It's uh, in the, it's, it's, this is the front cover, so it's on page four of the, the front Sunday newspaper. And uh, Rocco seems to be enjoying his winnings right buddy you happy you got 50 bucks yeah you happy good buddy well we went out and got some dinner came back and pretty much immediately crashing uh carly went to bed and uh, me and mallory have stayed up and worked on some of the wedding stuff stuff that needed taken care of but i think we got it under control we needed to make a seating chart because it would be kind of like a madhouse if everyone goes in there and no one knows what to do and just is sitting down. Then you might get people that are sitting with people that, you know, they don't know anyone at their table. It could be a little awkward. And we have a really small party. Um, we have not very many guests coming. And uh, it would be really weird. So we had to make a chart. And that was hard. Really hard. Because it's individual tables that only hold like six people each. And that becomes really, really difficult when you have all these people because, like, you're making a chart and you're like, well, these people have to sit with these people. And then you get down the list and you're like, oh, but these people have to sit with those people. And then you're like, oh, well, crap, I'm over six. And, like, no one else knows anybody and you're trying to sit people with people they know. Oh, God, it's, it was terrible. So I hope we did. We made the right decisions. But anyway, we also had to take care of some picture editing stuff because we're going to do these cool photo album type things. But... Anyway, we're going to deal with all that later. We're tired. Um, day six, six, day six, 16. I've been trying to upload all day. Finally uploaded, and then no trace of it in the My Video section of YouTube. Gone. And I don't know what the heck is up, so i got to upload that again, so that's why the vlogs are late. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and edit here. Thanks for watching, and let's move back tomorrow, shall we, for my bachelor party. I'm Mallory's bachelorette party, but I'm the one with the camera, so you're just going to get to see a lot of Halo action.